welcome to North Lanarkshire Council's online visual arts programme. Welcome to week six and today we are going to be doing some printing with nature. So let's make a wee start. Some water, some paint brushes, some leaves, petals, collection of different things, a little test page for trying out maybe different colours and different shapes to see if it's going to work before you put it on your actual page. We've got a little bit of kitchen roll just for dabbing off any excess paint and then we've got a collection or a selection should I say of different colours in this with a couple of wee gaps so we can do some mixing as well. Alright so let's make a wee start. So today I think I'm going to try and make a kind of underwater landscape. So I'm kind of looking at my leaves here and I think maybe I could make some of these into to fish. So I'm going to take these, give my paint a wee wet. Take a fairly generous amount of paint and you're just going to paint right onto your leaf. And we could even do a wee test to see how that works. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So a wee bit more paint because we had some gaps. And I think I'm going to stick it on. So press down nice and firmly and really try and work the paint out between all those veins on the back of your leaf. And once you think you've got a nice press on it, just peel it back. Okay, so that's pretty good. So maybe I'm thinking this is going to be a fish and these wee gaps, don't worry too much about those, that could even be a mouth or I can fill that in later. Okay, so maybe I'm going to put a little tail on now gonna use yeah I think I'll use this you could even you know rip a wee bit off if you think it's if it's too big it might even make it a wee bit flatter and easier to work with So you'll notice as well, I've got a wee bit of an overlap here, but that's all right. Okay. Okay, maybe I'm going to do a smaller fish now. Use this one. Blot off any excess. And I think I'm actually going to use blue for this one. Okay, so again, nice thick layer. And pop that down there. So we're getting a nice kind of jagged effect around the edges of this. All right, and I'm going to do another little teal. Maybe I'm going to use this slightly smaller one this time, that way, or that way. I'm going to go this way.
Okay, maybe I'm gonna add some little smaller fish in around. So I'm having a wee look at my leaves and I'm kind of seeing, hmm, these are smaller, maybe not small enough. Maybe I'm gonna use this one actually. Yeah, I'm gonna try and use this tiny one. So, use a nice yellow. And put them up here. And that's nice. I'm actually going to do a couple of these while I have this leaf on the go. Okay, they look quite good, but I think they need some teals as well. So, let's see if this small leaf, how it looks. Mm, I think it's looking too big, but, like I said at the start, if you wanted to, to tear your leaves and make them into a slightly different shape, you could definitely do that. But I think that'll look quite good. And I'm just going to keep these, oops, yellow as well. You can kind of fill these in if you need to. All right. Okay, so what I think maybe we're missing is some background now. So I'm having a wee look and I'm kind of thinking maybe about different seaweeds, or corals, that kind of thing. Hmm, we could have some coming in here as well. These slightly bigger ones, they might be too big, but they might work down here. And I've got these nice long ones that could run the whole way up. Alright. Are these ones? And you can kind of think about these kind of things whenever you're you're picking your leaves as well. So maybe we'll do some in green. Because I don't have any green yet. I'm gonna use this one. Add some in a wee bit further up as well. So that's leaving quite nice marks there. Maybe I'll change out onto this one now because this is quite a nice flat one. Maybe I'll do some colour mixing. Let me see, so I'll take a wee bit of red, put it up here, and mix that in with my leftover colour. So it's kind of a really dark, almost purpley kind of colour. And add a little bit of this in, lighten it up a bit. Okay.
of so that's quite nice left a wee mark there I'm going to try one of these long ones as well That's nice, it almost looks like a shell or something down here. I'm going to try that again with a slightly smaller one, maybe mix my red in. Oops. I've got a few different colours kind of mixing on this one now. I'll get that bit more down here. There we go. Alright, so my page is getting quite full. Maybe do one more. And then once this dries, you can also work into it with pen or pencil or um, crayons even, or just watercolours or other kind of colours if you want to kind of fill out your spaces a bit. So let me see. There's already some orange. I'm going to put this on quite thick because there's a lot more depth to this one because they're all joined together. Try and flatten it out a bit. Try and press each of your leaves down and your spine as well. That looks quite nice. I'll do another one in one more colour, slightly lighter. And I'm just going to layer this on top so that we maybe get a kind of two tone effect. I'm going to keep this down here. There we go. Alright, so you can build up as much as you want. You can do more, you can do less. But once you've kind of got a lot of your page covered, try not to overwork it. And uh, yeah, then when it dries, you can work in maybe, maybe different colours of pens and stuff. This might be too wet, but you can add a little smiley face onto your fish. Maybe even little fins. Let's choose a different colour.
and even if you want to kind of fill your background in, add a wee bit more colour, you could use a light coloured pen and add some some waves in. All right, so there we go. Okay, so thank you very much for watching um, and make sure to check out the rest of our videos. Thank you very much, bye.